everybody, welcome back to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica. On today's video, we're going to be unbagging my February 2019 Ipsy Glam Bag. So I actually have not been able to get on the Glam Bag Plus uh, distribution list just yet. Um, I did email them back in December and said, hey, am I going to have an opportunity to do this? They responded with, we'll put you on the wait list. You'll be, the, you'll be on the, the top of the list for the next time around when they open it up. It's February. I emailed them earlier this week, actually, after this had shipped, I emailed them and said, hey, I'm just checking in uh, to see if there's any update on the possibility of getting on the Glam Bag Plus list. And my response was very weird. The response I got was, your concern has been given to a manager, something like that. It was it was just really weird. Like, it w didn't they didn't answer the question. They just said that they passed off my concern to a manager. And I'm like, all I wanted to know was if there was an opportunity for me to get on the Glam Bag Plus. Anyway, I still have the original Ipsy, uh, and that's fine. I will probably keep the original Ipsy if or when I eventually get on the uh, Glam Bag Plus list. Um, I, I just like having the original Ipsy. And what I found out this month is that they now have a card, or at least this month they put a card, which says the products on it. It says this month express your unique beauty with, and it has all the products listed in on the back of the card. So that's different. They don't normally have the information on the back of the card. So I do like the bag. It's a whole bunch of little kisses, which is cute, which is very appropriate for February, right? And then it's got a little pink uh, tab that says Ipsy on it that is nice and soft. So that is what is in there. I'm going to go ahead and pull the first. I'm going to pull the first two items out. Let's go ahead with this one. So this is the Pixie Glow Tonic. I am actually going to be putting this in a giveaway or in my giveaway drawer because this is a product that I have tried. I purchased the full size of it and it is not my favorite. Um, it's not bad. It doesn't bother my skin or anything like that. I just personally don't like the scent. And if you've smelled this, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, there is a very distinct scent to this product. Now, I did go and get the Rose Tonic from Pixi, and I like that a lot better. Um, but the scent on this is just too much for me. I'm not a big fan of the scent. So, okay, this is the Pixi by Petra Glow Tonic. Founded by a working mom of four, Pixi is all about products that multitask and then it says Natch. I don't know what that means. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, made with aloe vera to soothe, ginseng to help circulation, and glycolic acid to exfoliate. It's no wonder everyone at Ipsy HQ is completely obsessed with this glow getter. And there's a tip. Begin with clean skin, soak a cotton pad with tonic, and smooth it across your face, neck, and chest. Follow up with your favorite moisturizer. So, again, um, I'm going to put this in my giveaway drawer. I'm not even going to unscrew it or anything because I just know that for me, um, it's, the scent is what bothers me. All right, there's this little item here in some bubble wrap. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. All right, so it is from Meech and Mia, and it says caramel. I think this is an eyeshadow. Yes, it is the pressed eyeshadow in caramel. So it's a single shadow. The plastic was sticking to my hand. All right, so that's the, the shade. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it here in one second. Okay. It's definitely a golden shade. All right, here we go. I bet you for some people they could use this as a highlighter. Not for me, it's too dark for me to be a highlighter, but I could definitely wear it as an eyeshadow. All right, so this is from Meech and Mia. It's a pressed eyeshadow in caramel, a brand that's always on trend and affordable. What's not to love? This honey gold eyeshadow is beyond versatile. Wear it on your lids, inner corners of your eyes, and brow bones to brighten up any look. Tip, use a dense shader brush or your finger to apply. Want more intense color? Dampen the brush before. So like I said, it's it's pretty. Um, the packaging is not very sturdy, but I mean, it's, it's a single shadow. So I, I'm pretty sure that's probably a sample. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a full size. Does it have? There's three grams in here or 0.1 ounces. So, all right, coming up next, let's pull this out right here. All right, so this is from Ciate London. It's the Glow 2 Highlighter, and it looks like the shade name is Moondust. All right, so that's pretty. There it is. Okay, 
gonna go ahead and swatch this. It looks like a very pretty pink shade. And I can pull it out of here and put it in my one of my Z palettes. All right, that's definitely pretty. It's a shade that will work on my skin. It's right there on the back of my hand. All right, so this says, all right. So the card says the Ciate London Glow 2 Highlighter in Moon Dust. Ciate is known for innovative formulas and this illuminating powder is no exception. This champagne pink velvety soft highlighter has celestial duochrome pearls that reflect light to give you a gorge lit from within glow. The tip here to get glowing ASAP, sweep some of this highlighter over your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose, on your cupid's bow and anywhere light naturally hits your face. So it's definitely pretty. It is definitely a shade that will work for me. Okay. So next up is this right here. It is from Hanalee or Hanalee Lip Treatment. It does have a safety seal, which is nice. So I'm not gonna pull that off. But here's what the package looks like. Okay. And this says it's the Hanalee or Hanalee Lip Treatment in Peach Pink. Made in Hawaii by a team of beauty chemists, this peachy pink balm hydrates and rejuvenates skin with kukui, kuku, kukui oil. A fave Hawaiian nut rich in vitamins A, C, and E and essential fatty acids. Tip, apply on bare lips for a flush of color. Swipe on before matte colors so they go on smooth. Mix some with your favorite lipstick to make a hydrating stain. That's pretty neat. I'll give that a try, absolutely. All right, the last item here is actually the thing that I'm most excited about. And yes, I did know what was in my box. I got an email like literally like two days ago. So that's pretty cool. But this is from Huda Beauty. It is the Lip Contour Pencil in the shade Icon. So there it is. It's just literally like a black pencil. And it's a sharpen pencil, but it's super creamy. And that is a beautiful shade, something I will definitely get usage out of. So I'm happy about that. So this says the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Icon. We love everything that this beauty influencer turned makeup maven puts out and this waterproof lip pencil is no exception. It glides on to help shape your lips, prevent lipstick from feathering, and extend the wear of your lip color. The best part, the fresh pink shade looks fab on all skin tones. Tip, use it as a liner paired with your fave shade of lip color or all over your lips for opaque coverage. So that's pretty cool. I actually am really digging the fact that they have a card this month. Maybe that's just me, but anyway, let's recap everything that I got in my box. The Huda Beauty Lip Contour, which is probably what I'm most excited about. Other than this bag, the bag is really cute and that keeps getting stuck everywhere. Anyway, the bag is super cute. The Hanalee or Hanalee Lip Treatment, which I'm also really excited about that too. The Glow 2 Highlighter, the Meech and Mia Eyeshadow, and the Pixi Glow Tonic, which a lot of people love this product. Like I said, for me, I just don't really like the scent very much. Anyway, and that does not want to come off my, my hand. <laughs> All right, that is my Ipsy bag for February 2019. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. And also let me know if you guys got the G Glam Bag Plus. How long did you wait on the waiting list? Because it's been like three months and or two months, I guess. It's been two months. I contacted them in, in December. It's now February. Um, and I'm just wondering um, if I'll ever get on that list. Anyway. I did enjoy this. Like I said, I will probably continue to get the regular Glam Bag when I get the Glam Bag Plus or if I ever get the Glam Bag Plus. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. I do try to respond to every comment that I do receive. And one last thing, I do have an, my own online boutique that I started with my sister. Uh, right now we have just mark down all of our um, winter clothing, anything with like long sleeves or sweaters and so forth. So the link is in the description bar but down below. It is nimnies.com. If you'd be curious, please go ahead and hit that link and check it out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.